Hi guys, today I want to give you a quick way to use the Book of Awesome in your classroom. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with this book, but there's a few in the series. There is actually a storybook for little kids, and then there's the Book of Awesome, the Book of Even More Awesome, and the Book of Holiday Awesome. And the entire book is full of little stories, little tips, snippets of things that are awesome in our world. It can be from getting into bed with clean sheets to uh, the smell of popcorn at the movies, all the little things in our lives that we sometimes take for granted, but actually are awesome. So the way I use it in my classroom is I usually start the day with this. Every single day we start with a story out of it. And I have to tell you that the kids really look forward to it. I've used it from grades three all the way up to grade eight and absolutely you could use this in high school as well. But I start the day with a story or sometimes two or three depending on if we wanna to listen to more. And this just starts the day off in such a positive way. We can let go of some of the hectic things or the arguments or fights or whatever we had in the morning and it resets the day to start out on a positive note because everything in here makes you feel good when you listen to it. So we start out the day with the stories. We usually get talking about some other things because it inevitably sparks kids to want to contribute their things that they think are awesome. And then we take that and the students go back to their spots and pull out their own awesome journals. I've done it before where we've created our awesome journals ourselves, where I've gone to the dollar store and bought really cool journals that everyone gets to pick. But regardless, they go back and they write in their journal. Every single morning we do this, it starts the day off great. Plus at the end of the year, they have a journal. They have their own book of awesome that they can take home and refer back to. And it gives them a chance to write without being judged. I never look at them unless they want to share them with me. This is like just they get to do authentic writing where they're not going to be judged. They don't have to worry about spelling. There's no risk taking here. It's just for them and they get to write. And it teaches them to not only look at all the little things in our lives that make our world so awesome, but it also gives them a chance to just write for the love of writing. So there's so many benefits to all of this. And I also did it so that we took it even a step further and we had an awesome jar in the classroom. There was, it was just a regular jar with some blank paper beside it. And throughout the day, if anybody thought of something that was awesome, they would go write it on the paper and put it in there. And I have to say that that was such a valuable experience for some of the students because one morning one of my little girls came in and she'd had a terrible day, bad fight in the morning with parents or whatever, you know, some of the normal things that happen on a, on a morning where you're running late or whatever. And she came in, she was pretty upset. I think she'd actually had a fight with her sister. So she came in, she was upset and we talked and I said, why don't you go to the awesome jar and read some of it? So she did, she walked over, she pulled a few of the things out of it. She maybe spent five minutes over there perusing through the different entries. And when she was done, she came back. She had a smile on her face. And no, it didn't fix the fight that she had with her sister, but it allowed her to reset and put her brain in a different space. And I believe that changed her day because it started her off on a different path. It didn't erase the fight that she had, but it was allowed her to like let it go and start the day in a, in a different way once she got to school. So anyways, I hope that this is helpful for you. Go on out and buy this book. It's so good. They're, they're great even for yourself if you don't even want to do it with your class because it's just a reminder of how awesome our world is. So try it out. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.